So, I'm going to Canada tomorrow. Holy poop, I've never been to Canada. Today we're heading to Montreal. We've been waiting to go to Montreal for quite some time. This is gonna be our first time traveling outside the province of Ontario. Well, they're a lot more open than Toronto, so I'm gonna go there for the weekend, live our best lives, then come back and cry. I haven't, I haven't told the viewers where we're going yet. You wanna let them know? Man, we're up in uh, the big MTL city. Dude, my parents don't even know I'm leaving. I got my bag and said, yo, I'm dipping to Montreal. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> so we've made it to the Canadian border. Bro, we're in Canada, bro. Bro, you ever seen stones like this? No, you ain't never been to Canada. We just went through customs. We're in Canada. I'm out of the country, guys. I'm so satisfied that you guys said that. Look at this. Montreal. Woohoo! We made it. We made it to Montreal. <laughs> it's Montreal. Over there. So look at the city skyline. So we landed in Montreal. It's so crazy, everyone here is speaking French. It's like we're in a movie. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue à Montréal au Québec. Ça fait longtemps depuis la dernière fois que j'étais ici. Je suis content que je suis ici en retour. We made it to MTL, you know what I'm saying? Look at guys, we're in Montreal! How exciting is this? So excited, it's my favorite city in Canada. Montreal, the best city in Canada, no cap. Today we're in Montreal, uh, we came here last year and we had to go back because we absolutely love this place. We loved it. I've heard from many people who have been here that this is just one of the coolest cities, one of the most fun cities, uh, one of the most unique cities. And uh, I'd actually been planning to visit here since uh, 2020, but then, you know, uh, 2020 happened. Prior to the pandemic, we would visit Montreal like almost once a year. It's really exciting because we really like Canada, specifically Montreal. Hey everybody, we just got to Montreal and we've both never been here. I'm super excited. We've never been here before, so we're just gonna eat all the good food, practice our French. I'm so excited. Never really been here before, drove through it, but never spent any time in Montreal. So this is a new adventure for me. We made it to Quebec. We made it to Canada. It's snowing outside. We are staying in downtown Montreal, which kind of reminds me of New York City, but cleaner. We've arrived in Montreal, um, this apartment. It's just like a really cute, charming, French, Parisian style apartment, isn't it? It's beautiful, yeah. really nice wooden floors, high ceilings, and it's I love lovely. it. It's lovely, it's really, really nice. Guys, this is probably the coolest Airbnb I've ever stayed in. Such a nice micro apartment. You know, I really wish I could stay in a place like this back in San Francisco, but the prices are so expensive. You've got a great view. Wow, I really like Montreal. It's so freaking cute in here, you guys. This is the little bedroom area. How adorable. Adorable little windows. They're so Parisian. I feel like I'm in Paris. <laughs> Ooh, high ceilings. Oh wow. Oh, I love this detail. Oh wow. Ooh. We just reached the Airbnb. What a beautiful place. Wow. As soon as you step in, this is a beautiful living room with a dining room and kitchen. Ooh, there's one of the bedroom. Very nice. Whoa, look at the tub here. This is the terrace, and you have a really nice view of the Saint Denis Street. I wish I had my own balcony like this. I'd be out here all morning and night. I'll do a little B-roll of the apartment here because it is really nice. I love it. Just do a little tour. Check out our super awesome Airbnb that I found. We're here. The view. Dude, it was so nice. What the heck? Oh my, you look very pretty. Oh, I see. Oh, I see Baku. We just arrived in Montreal. Our gracious host, Alex, is allowing us to stay at her adorable apartment. We are just so happy with it. Love it. Living room, decorated so cute. I love all the plants. Wow. So cute. Wonderful. Kitchen. It's great. Sitting area. I love that balcony. I know. I just love it. This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this spiral staircase. Look at it, look at it. I'm obsessed. It's freezing, but I have to show you guys it. This is so fun. It's so, it's so soft. This is my first time seeing snow, like actual snow. By the way, these are heated floors. They're heated. I'm so happy right now. I've never been in this with heated floors before. I'm already in love with this place. I love this Airbnb. I'm so glad I found it. So glad I'm staying here instead of a hotel. Originally I was supposed to stay at a hotel, but I was like last minute changed my mind and now it's better. 
Hello! We're all checked in at St. Paul's Hotel, which is located right next to Old Montreal. It's a Mara Bonvoy property. And what's awesome is that we got an upgrade! You gotta check out the bedroom. Look how beautiful this is. Isn't it pretty? We're staying at the Four Seasons. I'm so excited to be in Montreal. This place is just so cool. So we are at El Hotel. Our room is very unique. Haven't stayed in a room like this ever before. Really high ceilings. It's a very spacious room actually. This is our washroom. Love the tiles on the floor. And here we have a window. Let's look outside. Ooh, so pretty. I love our view, these historical buildings. And they're so stunning. I feel like I'm in Europe. So our hotel is in Chinatown. Oh, we have the coolest hotel. Does we start hard half arrive in room and that's fancy. Oh, we got, oh, this is great. Whoa, we got a whole living room. Oh, and a desk. There's a Mac desktop, bitch. Oh my God, what a spectacular view of the construction. No, it's all good. Oh. What? Okay, first of all, I love a good shower. But this tub, though? Oh. <laughs> Are you ready for a tour? Check it out. Look at this. Nice. Good night. Good night. Is it comfortable? Yeah, it is. Hey, yo. Yo. Yes, nice oh soaking tub. I'm gonna jet tub. Look at this. We should have brought our food. Why didn't we bring our food? I'm not cooking here. There's too many restaurants to go to. This is a good place. Yeah, nice. All right, so we just got to the hotel. It's kind of like an apartment style. There's like a whole living room, bedroom, and it's all covered in this beautiful brick and a really big bathroom as well. The view is also really nice. It's overlooking old Montreal. Very cute. So Nick asked for a room upgrade, and they upgraded us to junior suite. Hey. <laughs> Quite spacious. Very artistic. I like the this light. This is a brand light. new hotel. Yeah, look at like the light fixtures. Very, very trendy. Oh, two sinks, Nick. Oh, if we can close oh. the door from the toilet. <laughs> look at the wall. Fancy. Oh, okay. We walked into our room and this is waiting for us with a card. Yes, welcome to the Humanity Hotel Montreal. We are delighted to have you with us for a celebration of a special occasion. Happy anniversary. Oh, These macaroon. Like macaroon. I've never had a macaroon in my entire life. Walking into the penthouse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the rose petals. Oh my god. Do you ever have rose petals on the bed? That one was my idea. Really? <laughs> yes. It's so cute. Just look at the views. Holy. That's Mont Royal right there. Remember the mountain I was telling you about? Oh yeah. The little bit bump. Beautiful. That's, a, that's the bump. Gosh, how cute is this? <laughs> they knew we were celebrating our anniversary. Oh my goodness, how sweet is this? Oh my gosh, Sean, look, they put rose petals in here too. Oh, and on the top. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful here. We're staying in a Ritz Carlton. We have never done this in our life before. We wanted to treat ourselves. And they had a fantastic deal where you buy two nights and you get the third one free. The Ritz Carlton was actually founded in 1912. The name was invented in Montreal, and now there's 104 hotels in the world. I am in what is perhaps the most famous hotel suite in the world. It was here in 1969 that the Beatle John Lennon and his wife held their world famous bidding for peace. In room 1742 of this building, John Lennon and Yoko Ono recorded the anthem Give Peace a Chance. The Hotel Burks right now. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. We are staying at Hotel Burks. It is so freaking stunning in here. I have to show you guys around. This is so nice. Yeah, just sit in a hammock. Oh, oh, oh. Montreal's Hotel Bonaventure is nestled on the top two floors of the sprawling Place Bonaventure. When it first opened in 1967, it was the world's largest commercial building at 3.1 million square feet, more than the Empire State Building. Ooh, that is so cool. Good morning, Montreal. That is probably the best and biggest bed I've ever slept in. Wow. 18th floor is where we were at. I'm already in love with this place. Today, we get to explore the city of Montreal. Are you excited, buddy? Yeah. I'm excited too. High five. Hey. This right here 
is my kind of city. I'm freaking obsessed with this city. Everything is so aesthetic and so pretty. All the buildings are literally so cute. Yeah, I love the city so much. It has its own vibe that's hard to explain. We just got back to the Airbnb after walking around for the evening. Montreal is very busy at night. There's a certain vibe to Montreal that I've never really experienced before. Montreal as a city is amazing. You gotta go. It's one of the most vibrant places I've ever been. There's just so much to do. All of my friends that live there, they just have the best lives. Their lives are fun. They have a certain passion for life. I've always regarded Montreal with a sort of curious fascination and frankly, a hesitant disbelief that it even existed in the first place. A region of a British Commonwealth country located in North America where the mother tongue is French and the people of a bewildering mix of Arctic hardiness and overwhelming hospitality? That's Narnia. You're describing Narnia. But, lo and behold, it does exist. And it is, I can say with confidence, a hell of a place. Welcome to Montreal. Yes. What a good time to be alive, man. I feel good, man. This was Jamie's first visit to Montreal, and she was immediately smitten. In fact, she berated me for not booking more time there. Um, honey, why aren't we staying here longer? You viewers from MTL, I need you guys to like answer one question in the comments. Why the hell is there a light? I know you guys see that. Like, what is that? What's the reasoning behind that light? Please, somebody say in the comments. Please, please. <laughs>